Investigators in Peachtree City and Fayette County say they've uncovered a phone scam using stolen identities at numerous Walmarts. Fox 5's Doug Evans has the story. Investigators here in Peachtree City and at the Fayette County Sheriff's Office say there were a number of people involved in this scam, but they believe that they have identified and arrested the ringleader as well as at least one Walmart employee. Investigators say they identified and arrested the ringleader, Curtis Ferguson. He's 30 years old from Jonesboro. Investigators at the Fayette County Sheriff's Office and Peachtree City Police Department in a joint investigation say Ferguson recruited Walmart employees in the electronics department as well as non-employees in order to sell and buy mobile phones using stolen identities. Phones that Sheriff Barry Babb says were shipped outside of the United States. And then it makes its way uh, to a foreign country like Morocco. We've labeled Morocco and Uzbekistan as two of the countries that we know, among other countries. The investigation started at the Peachtree City Walmart after more than 20 residents from around Metro Atlanta reported their identities had been used to purchase mobile phones there. Investigators say the actual number of fraud victims is around 60. A curious thing happened when the Peachtree City store burned down last August. Investigators say the scam then started up again at the neighboring Noonan Walmart store. They say that's because Jalen Warmack had worked at the Peachtree City Walmart before the fire and afterwards transferred to Noonan where the scam started up again. And more victims of identity fraud started happening while he was working the counter at that cell phone kiosk. They say it's an ongoing investigation, so there's the possibility of additional arrests being made. I'm Doug Evans, Fox 5 News in Fayette County.